Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo and Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this does not work without you guys. Um, let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods here. Um, today started off kind of strange. It kind of started off strange, I, I, and I forgot all about this because well, you, you saw my morning video. Um, I was doing my, you know, every morning I come down here, I sit down, and I end up doing, you know, Joe Boo Sports Report. Whatever it is, I'm going to do it. And I always go, there's Joe Boo, and this morning, right up here, this was up here on Joe Boo. And I didn't notice it until I did my intro. And that is the Eagles, the very first Eagle voodoo doll that I made back in 2012. And for some reason, it was here today. And it's kind of crazy because then after I did my morning video, we heard that the salary cap is going to 180, you know, so teams can start making plans on what they're going to do, of course. So, you know, you can see Joe Bear with him and it's like, okay. And, and maybe that's just a coincidence. Maybe Michael came across it yesterday and so I'm going to put up there with Joe. I just, it's just weird that it happened. So I'm in my workshop working on some of the racks because I, I came up with the idea that I, I've, I'm trying to really build the studio together and really make this more than just me being in my basement. Okay. I've been building on this for years. And so I figured we're going to make a whole bunch of racks and we're going to use those as giveaways for, you know, if people make donations to the channel or super chats and stuff like that. We'll start doing drawings starting tomorrow for everybody that does that, because that way we can try and raise some extra money to really get this to be something special. So I was in the workshop and I was reorganizing and things like that. And so I was away from my phone and I missed that um, Carson Wentz was traded to the Colts. So basically the Colts have said... And so then I hear what they traded Carson Wentz for. The Eagles traded to the Colts Carson Wentz for a third round pick for this year, a number three. And then for the following season, 2022, a number two that's conditional that if Carson Wentz plays 75% of the snaps, then he will turn into a number one pick. And that's when you hear and, and think that Philly 500 went off. I fire Howie. Fucking fire the motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot! What an idiot! Yeah. Dallas has a more. Yeah. So in essence, they traded Carson Wentz for a can of potted meat. Potted meat. Ingredients. Let me let me tell you what's in potted meat. I have to put my glasses on because I put it so small because I don't want you to read. Mechanically separated chicken, pork, water, salt. Contains 2% or less of mustard, vinegar, sodium, garlic powder, and natural flavors of sodium. Potted meat. That's what you got on the way out from Carson Wentz. Potted meat. For the Colts, if you saw... The look on Frank Wright's face, I, I, I bet he is thinking, I can't believe they took that bullshit offer that we put out there. Literally, I can't believe that they just did. For the Colts, this is a no-lose situation. Worst case, Carson Wentz stinks. You gave up a two and a three to try and get a guy. You know the player. You worked with him. Maybe you can rehabilitate him. Maybe. 
Maybe. But I, I, I will miss being able to use this. <laughs> <laughs> good times man good times so for the Colts this is a great trade um, this is fantastic because behind of that contract 33.7 million dollars was left in dead money for the Eagles they're hamstrung this is basically the Eagles having to start all the way over. And the Eagles aren't really sure they're sold with Hurts. They may end up taking a quarterback in the first round. In which case, now you've got a quarterback controversy that'll be brewing. You can't draft a guy in the first round and say he's not going to play. They've got holes all over the place. They were $52 million. Oh, I'm sorry, but change that. $47 million over on the salary cap. You take a big dead money loss. And the thing that's crazy about this is, and the thing that if I'm the Colts that I worry about is Carson Wentz literally torched the organization on the way out. They believed in him by trading from the 13th to the 8th with Tampa Bay and from the 8th all the way to the 2nd with the Browns. They gave up a lot of players and draft capital to get him. They won a Super Bowl partially because of him the first half of the season, or first 13 games, but Nick Foles carried him the following year. Carson Wentz was not good after being injured. Nick Foles carried him to playoffs. In the end, they sided with Carson Wentz. We said, we believe in you. Even though this guy is the only guy to ever win a Super Bowl for our team, we believe in you. So this year, they stick with them. They say, we believe in you, even though it's just bad. And when they finally move, he kind of has a hissy fit. And this is the thing that bothers me. Instead of saying, I'm going to get better, and I'm going to win this spot back, you basically say, I want to leave. And not only say, I want to leave, even though it hurt the Eagles on the way out, you, you basically said, I'm, I'm not going there. I'm only going here. The Colts knew this, and that's why the Colts could fleece the Eagles. Carson Wentz has literally set the franchise back years now. Now, maybe they get that extra first-round pick next year. Maybe. Maybe he can turn it around, but I'm not sure that he can. But time will tell. But it's funny how quickly things change in the NFL, and it's uh, fitting that they call it the not for long league because I'm going to have fun with some of those talking heads out there. Some of the experts out there, you know, I, I'm, I'm truly going to have some fun with some of the experts. As for last, we do this thing called dis or Dak. Anytime there's a big, you know, argument about Dak Prescott, how good he is. And I'll say Dak or dis Would I take Dak or dis to start my franchise. So <laughs> I, I, I thought I was four years ahead of everybody on Russell Wilson. I thought I was ahead of everybody by a couple of years on Andrew Luck. Mm -hmm. I think I'm ahead of everybody on Carson Wentz. I think he's a superstar player um, that has had to overcome absurd wide receiver injuries. Uh, Zach Ertz is his best weapon, and Zach's not really a vertical passing. He's not like Travis Kelsey or Jimmy Graham in his prime. He has average running backs. They've had a good offensive line, but it's been battered with injuries the last two years. Mm -hmm. And Wentz has essentially carried this franchise. So it's time for Wentz or on the fence, Joy. <laughs> Wentz or now, on the fence? This is right now. This is moving like forward. This is like right today. Now. Okay. I can take today. Wentz or another quarterback with my franchise. Would you rather have <laughs> Wentz or Dak? I I don't know how you can watch the two. Wentz is bigger, <laughs> more athletic, with a stronger arm. I would take Carson Wentz. Uh, he had 108 passer rating last year down the stretch throwing to trash cans. I don't know how Against you trash would not teams. take him. If you watch that game, Dak and Wentz, Wentz had less O-line, Wentz receivers, less uh, uh, running back help, and dominated the game. I would take Dak. It would you rather have points. Wentz or Aaron Rodgers? 
This sounds crazy. I'd rather have Wentz. I think he's bigger. I think he's stronger. I think he has a better, I think, I don't think he has quite the release of Aaron Rodgers. Last three years, take out Wentz's rookie year. That's not fair. Take it out. Last three years, he's got a better completion percentage, more touchdown passes, a better record, <laughs> and a better passer rating than Aaron Rodgers. What do you, what do you want? What, what do you want? What more does he have to prove? And he doesn't have a star receiver like Aaron or a star back like Aaron. I don't. I don't even think this is controversial. I don't even think it's now controversial. Aaron Rodgers is playing with stars. <laughs> well, I mean, he's got a star receiver and a star back. He's got stars. That was, I mean, I I think he does, but mm-hmm. I'm, I'm taking Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers. By the way, would you rather have Carson Wentz or Drew Brees? This is not close. It's Carson Wentz. He's a much bigger, <laughs> stronger thrower of the football. He's more athletic. It's not. Oh. It's I love Drew. Drew's 41. This isn't close. Oh my Carson God. Wentz. Drew does not throw the ball down the field like he used to. That's not what he does. Carson gives you everything. Mm -hmm. Great deep ball, big arm, cannon side, arm angles. I I love Drew Brees. This is is not even close. I don't know that it's not close, but I'm going to go with Wentz. Would you rather have Wentz or Tom Brady? Carson Wentz. Brady went four and five down the stretch. Wentz oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, Am I? Oh my god! This is a state. This is, you know what this is like? This is a. you're comparing a sports car to a very nice SUV. And I love Brady. But he's a nice SUV at this point in his career. <laughs> Carson Wentz is completely different. Level. Yeah, but sports cars are really fun and really fast. They're not great in all weather. Okay, that's true. if something true. breaks so, on them, it's very expensive. Let, let's correct that. He's not a sports car. Wentz is great in bad weather. Wentz oh, is God. a what's a, it's a Tesla. He's, he's the a future. Te- okay. All right. Also He's a very Hugo. Mercedes. How about that? <laughs> All right. Mm. Wentz or Matt Ryan? Uh, last two years, Atlanta's gone seven and nine. I think Matt needs a lot of help around him. Wentz shows mm-hmm. he can carry a franchise with nothing around him or it, cluster injuries. Matt needs everything in line, and then he's yeah. a very good quarterback. But last couple of years, he's seven and nine. Uh, that's just not with with star receiver, star back, star tight end, Austin defense. Hooper. I, with great players. I would go with Wentz in that that as well. All right, Carson Wentz or Jimmy Garoppolo? Wentz. Easily. And I like Garoppolo, but you're, mm. you're talking about arm, not close. Size, wow. Wentz. Athletic ability, not close. Not close. I'm going to go with Jimmy. Would you rather have Wentz or Russell Wilson? Well, excuse me? You take Jimmy Garoppolo over Jimmy Wentz. Jimmy Garoppolo just, just, was just leading Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl like a couple months ago. You really don't like Wentz. I I think I picked Wentz in the I I, I I took Dak. You can we can make an argument there. That's that's fair. I just prefer Dak. He's more durable. Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay. Russell Wilson or Carson Wentz. On the fence, I take Russell Wilson. <laughs> On the fence. Wow. I think Russell Wilson is the best football player in America. All things considered. Wow. Smarts. Uh, leadership, mm-hmm. athletic ability, uh, throwing the football. But you I think th- it's close? Ru- I think Russell is in a complete... I mean, I only think there's one player in the league close to Russell Wilson, and that's Patrick Mahomes. I think Russell's the oh, best. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I would agree with I that. I think okay. Russell, because his mm-hmm. pre snaps mm-hmm. better than Mahomes at this just point. I'm going to keep going. And he's, I think he's right a better now, leader at this point, because he's just older. Only Russell I think Russell Wilson. Wilson's the best This is eight months ago, y'all. I'm taking eight months ago. Wilson over Wentz as well. Wentz or Kyler Murray? To show you the disrespect for Carson Wentz, Kyler Murray has better Super Bowl odds or MVP odds than Carson Wentz. You've and got to be kidding so. me. Carson Wentz. And again, I don't think this is close. And I think Kyler's fun, but this ain't close. No, I don't think it's close right now. Okay. Wentz or Lamar Jackson? Uh, Wentz. Now, now, in a year, I may not think that. <laughs> as a, this Eight is still months, as much, I won't think that. As much as we see Lamar do his stuff. It is still, you got to throw a ball from the pocket. Mm -hmm. And I do believe if you're asking me to read the entire field, sit in the pocket, carry no weapons, Wentz can do that. Now, Lamar's great, but I think all of us, and even John Harbaugh has acknowledged this, I'm waiting for another step from Lamar as a pocket quarterback. He can do it, but he's looking for another stage. I think Wentz is in his prime. I think Lamar's going into his prime. I'm going to take Lamar. Wentz or Roethlisberger? Wentz. Wentz is, uh, you know, I like I, I might give you, well, but I think uh, his efficiency. No, I'm still Roethlisberger. A lot of picks, efficiency. There's some drama there. Mm-hmm. I don't get that with Wentz. So there's, Ben's leadership style is not always my favorite. I'm going to go with Wentz as well. 
Wentz or Deshaun Watson? Wentz is a much better throw of the football. Much wow. better throw of the football. And, and by the way, Deshaun with <laughs> significantly Texas better weapons. Three number ones. Uh, Wentz had more TDs, more yards, fewer picks than Deshaun last year. And Deshaun had great weapons. So I think, and again, I, I like Deshaun Watson. But if, if you're telling me you got nothing at receiver and running back and carry him down the field. Well, I think Wentz proved that last year. That's he's playing with. I thought it was one of the greatest four game stretches mm-hmm. down the stretch I'd seen in against. I think I would go teams. with Deshaun, but I do think it's very close. Carson Wentz or Patrick Mahomes? On the fence, Patrick Mahomes. On the fence. I think oh Patrick Mahomes God. is the better version of Carson Wentz, <laughs> and I think the better version of it is a ten player all time. So when I say the better version of Carson Wentz, I can't say anything better than that because I think Carson Wentz is a Hall of Famer. A Hall of Fame town. Hall All of right, Fame Carson Wentz or your guy Drew Locke. Now this one I thought about for a long time. <laughs> uh, Carson Wentz. Although Drew Locke has some of the same fascinating potential. Drew's got a huge arm. Drew moves really well. There's a certain leadership yeah, quality. They both suck. Went to Missouri, which is a bunch of. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, oh compared God. in the SEC to who you're Carson playing, Wentz and Drew Locke. Locke's talented, but they Carson both have Wentz. the so, same. Yeah, Russell they, Wilson, they Patrick play for ass. And I do think the Lamar thing could change in a year. If Lamar takes the steps that I think he will, then I'd probably in a year go Lamar. But I want to see it. So does John Harbaugh. So basically, you think that Carson Wentz is the third best quarterback in the league? Yep. Behind, and in Pat, year, behind Patrick Mahomes and Russell Wilson. Yep. That's well, it. I don't. Here's the thing. It's not controversial. Last three years, <laughs> go look at his stats with Aaron Rodgers. We did this earlier. Just go look at him. I don't have an opinion. Just watch him. What, what do you want? Wins more, more touchdowns, better completion percentage, better passer rating. You can't tell me that he has a significantly better coach than than Aaron. You can't tell me he has a significantly better... Devontae Adams is better than... Aaron Jones is better than the contemporaries that are playing for Philadelphia. Okay. Well... I'm going to end this with one last one. I fire Howie. <laughs> Fucking fire the motherfucker. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> Okay, I appreciate you guys, and we're going to have some fun with this. Wow. Hall of Fame potential.